All right, welcome to the October monthly update. Landon McKernan and Mark Cassell. We're here to talk about a few items today, obviously that are pretty prevalent in today's market. One thing that um, Landon and I have actually been talking with a lot of our clients, other brokers, and other people even outside of the real estate industry, oddly enough, um, is something called seller financing. If you're not familiar with it, um, it is pretty interesting and also a good alternative. But uh, Landon, what's kind of your thoughts on seller financing and I guess how to structure that deal? I don't know about you, but obviously we're starting to see more yeah. interest in seller financing, both from buyers and sellers. A couple of the reasons that we're seeing that is banks are a lot stricter on their requirements right now. They're oftentimes requiring 40 to 50% down on the loans, as well as looking for higher debt service coverage ratios. Um, and so a lot of ways buyers are able to avoid that is that you can negotiate either a lower down payment with the seller or a better interest rate. Um, in addition, you're able to get the process done a lot quicker than you could through a bank that might require 45 or days or even longer. Some of the benefits for a seller is you're able to defer some of the capital gains taxes. Yeah. Traditionally, sellers would look to do a 1031 exchange, which they still are, um, but there's a lot less inventory on the market. So there are options out there um, just aren't as exciting as they once were. Um, and so this provides an alternative strategy, which would allow them to, to keep some of their money invested and collect a passive return moving forward.